so far we have seen what is matter and that everything around us is matter so let's see the different states of matter now the three physical states of matter the solid state the book is an example of a solid state water is an example of the liquid state and the steam coming out of a hot teapot is an example of the gaseous state you must have seen the three states of water the solid form of water is known as ice this is the solid state of water the liquid state of water is known as water and the gaseous state of water you must have seen that you when you boil water the steam comes out so this is the gaseous state of water so now let's focus on the solid state we take a ball first we'll place it in a small container and then we'll transfer it into the bigger container let's observe something so as we place it in the smaller container we see it weighs 10 grams now it is transferred to the bigger container so you observe in this case again it weighs 10 grams the shape of the ball does not change since its shape is not changing so the volume of ball does not change all solids they have a definite shape they have a definite mass and that is why they have a definite or a fixed volume this is true for all solids solids cannot flow if you drop sugar or salt on floor you do not observe them flowing away instead they form a heap that is solids cannot flow they are stationary so we know that solids have a definite shape a book a pencil they have a definite shape but you must have played with a rubber band when you stretch a rubber band it changes its shape when you leave it it regains its original shape at times some metallic rods if you hammer them they change their shape permanently solids have a definite shape they do not change their shape on their own it is only when some external force is applied that they change their shape at times when the external force is removed they regain their shape but sometimes the change in shape is permanent now let's observe some features of the liquid state let's take water we'll first put some quantity of water in the smaller container then we'll transfer that water into the bigger container let's observe what happens so as we put some water in the smaller container we see that it weighs 30 grams it is at the position 30 that is it occupies 30 cm cube in the smaller container and we see that the water takes the shape of the smaller container now we transfer the water present in the smaller container into the bigger container what do we observe we observe that the same quantity of water is occupying the same mass that is it again weighs 30 grams it is again present at the same position that is it occupies 30 cm cube volume and you also observe that now the water takes the shape of the bigger container all liquids they have a definite mass they have a definite volume but they do not have a definite shape they take the shape of the container in which they are enclosed liquids flow so if you drop water on floor you see that it starts flowing they flow and they change their shape that is why liquids are known as fluids let's now observe the gaseous state let's observe the characteristics of a gas this pump contains some gas when it is pressed once it releases the same amount of gas so first the gas is pumped in the smaller container so you observe that when it is pressed once it releases 2 grams of gas the gas takes up the shape of the smaller container and it also occupies the entire space available by the smaller container so it takes the volume and the shape of the smaller container now the same quantity of gas is pumped in the bigger container so we observe that the same quantity of gas weighs the same in the second case also it weighs 2 grams and it is also observed that in the bigger container the gas takes up the entire space available in the bigger container so the gas occupies the volume of the bigger container and it takes the shape of the bigger container 
all gases they have a definite mass but they do not have a definite volume and they do not have a definite shape they take the shape and the volume of the container in which they are enclosed gases flow you must have seen steam coming out of a hot steaming pot so here the steam you see it's flowing it's freely flowing so gases also flow so now let's compare the three states the solid liquid and the gaseous state we'll compare the mass volume and the shape let's start with solids so you see that the mass of solids it's definite the volume solids have a definite shape and they have a definite volume when they transfer to another beaker or any beaker they do not change the shape or the volume so the volume and shape is also definite what happens in case of a liquid in liquids the mass is definite equal quantities of liquids they weigh the same so their mass is definite their volume is also definite here if it is 30 cm cube even in the bigger vessel or the bigger container the volume is 30 cm cube so they have a definite volume but the shape they take the shape of the container in which they are placed so for liquids the shape is not definite now let's see what happens in the gaseous state for gases we know that equal quantities of gas they weigh the same so the mass of the gas is definite but the shape and the volume of the gas is not definite they take up the volume and the shape of the container in which they are enclosed so this is the features this is what we get for the solid liquid and the gaseous state